Hey and welcome everyone to a new video. My name is Kapunator and it is a pleasure to talk to you today. And today we are going to talk about skill based matchmaking. I put my best round of Warzone in the background for you to enjoy. I played with randoms but it worked pretty nice. We got 27 squad kills so not that bad. Feel free and enjoy the gameplay in the background. And before we begin, I would like to say thank you to the people who just subscribed and gave me feedback lately. It really motivates me to keep going on with this channel. So if you don't want to miss future content about Call of Duty, about gaming in general, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to see me live playing Warzone or other multiplayer games, feel free to follow me on Twitch. The link is in the description. Thanks for all the support. Now, today we are going to talk about skill-based matchmaking and how it is destroying multiplayer games, in my opinion. I will mainly speak about Apex Legends, Warzone and Modern Warfare multiplayer and Fortnite because I play a lot of Fortnite with my friends and I have a lot of fun lately. And these are the games I have most experience with. And I will concentrate myself on the casual playlist in these games. So it is clear that in Fortnite Arena or Apex ranked it is absolutely clear to have skill based matchmaking. Since you really can see your skill and you want to compete with the best ones on earth. But why do we recently need in every multiplayer game a skill based matchmaking even in casual lobbies? Now first of all what is skill based matchmaking? For those of you who don't know, skill-based matchmaking is the way lobbies are made in games. So for example, in a multiplayer game with 12 players in Modern Warfare, the game looks which 12 players have the same KD more or less as you and then you get put in a lobby all together. And like this the developers hope to get fair lobbies for everyone who plays. Of course there isn't only the KD who is a criterion for this. Most of time we don't even know how it works exactly, but we know that skill based matchmaking is there. I think that in most of the games your KD is important, then your score per minute probably, and in Battle Royale even your uh, time you survive is pretty important, I think. We are not sure about this, but this must be something around these criterions. So the first impression of skill based matchmaking is, yeah. This makes the game pretty fair. Now, what are other pros and what are the downsides of skill-based matchmaking? First, as I mentioned before, this makes lobbies with players of more or less the same skill as you. This means that new players are only in lobbies with new players to properly learn how to play. This is really an advantage in my opinion for them and makes sense because they are new, they need some protection. After this we have the advantage to most of the time have lobbies in which we are as good as the other players, more or less. And here begins the controversy. Because having a lobby with similar players is great for competitive play. Because in competitive play I can exactly see my rank and I know how good I am. But in public games this is just stupid. If you are losing in a game no matter if battle royale or other shooter, you don't know if you have just become worse or if the enemy is just really strong. And since in public games there is no rank, you can't know where you stand. And here we start with the rest of the cons. One big problem with skill based matchmaking is that we have a connection with is worse because the game does connect you with someone who is as good as you are and not with someone who has a good connection. This often gives you a ping way higher than normal, at least in Call of Duty because often I have a ping about 50 or even higher and that's that's not fine. Not fine for a first person shooter fast like Call of Duty. But for example Fortnite does not have so much trouble with this because you always have a ping about 30 or less, at least me. But they have other problems which we will speak about later. Next point on my list is the fun. I recently just can't enjoy gaming. Most of the time I get a KD around 1.0 in Warzone or multiplayer, I do not have often some good rounds. And multiplayer has changed a lot here. When I start playing Call of Duty with Black Ops 1, I often got destroyed by my enemies. And this was completely fine, I was trash. 
but as I got better I also had some good games with some high kill rounds. And this is what Call of Duty ever has been. Some rounds you were really dominated and really destroyed by your enemies and then some matches later you are the one who is destroying. And this is what made the games stimulating and got me happy while playing. Because I exactly know that I am not the best player, but at least I had some good rounds while playing for several hours. This isn't just the case anymore. And I think this is the case for most of us. Yeah, sure there are some high skill players who still got a lot of kills and this almost every round. And that's clear, but why is this bad? If we get always the same amount of kills more or less. Because the new players who are getting protected now will also arrive in the state of no satisfaction while playing. Because now when I'm playing I'm just not satisfied anymore. Because yeah I kill someone he kills me and this is just not stimulating for me. And the new players when they will get better will have the same problem. But enough for this point. Another problem with skill based matchmaking is playing with friends. Since the matchmaking is taking the best player as a reference, you will be worse than most part of the enemies, if you are playing with a friend of you who is just insane. I often have this problem because I have a friend he has about a 2.1 KD or something like this in Warzone and the multiplayer. And me I am just around 1.0, something like this, probably a little bit worse since I really try to go for Damascus. And this is the biggest problem in my opinion. For me gaming with friends was always the biggest pleasure. Now I can't just do this anymore. And this makes all of us sad. The worst and the best player. Recently we start using my Switch as a fourth player in Fortnite. Like this we got easy lobbies and had a fun playing together. And that, that's not good. I mean this little trick shouldn't be necessary to enjoy a game. And no, this trick does not work really well because the Switch account will get ranked high pretty fast, so don't try it. It's for about, I don't know, 10 routes and then it's over. And this is just, this is just stupid because like this people will stop playing with their friends just because one of them or two of them aren't as good as the better ones. And they ha have no fun together. And that's the most important important point for me playing with friends and having fun together. And this gets destroyed. Enough for this point, next on my list, improving in the game isn't rewarding anymore. It is pretty normal that if you play a lot that you will get better pretty fast. Then you will also destroy most of your enemies and this seems just logic. But with skill based match making will not really get better visually. You will just become better but just don't know it. Since most of the time you will play against similar players you will be around the KD of 1 all, all the time. So this means that you will not get rewarded for improving in the game. And most of us play games to improve. At least me I'm someone like this. I'm not just playing a game and not trying to improve, not try to learn some tricks. I'm not a super sweaty player to be honest. I'm really sick of sweating all the time, but a little bit of improvement is always good. But now if you improve, you improve, you just get the harder lobbies, so what's the point about this? Enough of that, next point on my list. The variety is lost. In most of the Warzone or multiplayer lobbies you always see the same weapons, the same loadouts, the same killstreaks. I mean, try to find a lobby without someone playing the MP7. Lately I got into a Rust lobby with almost everyone sniping and it was so much fun. And then next round again everyone with MP7, MP5 or the M4. And this makes me sad because I always was someone who enjoyed playing not so common weapons. But in Modern Warfare I just can't, or if I do I got probably 5 kills. Same in Apex Legends, everybody is just playing the meta weapons like the Peacekeeper or the R99. Or snipers because they are just too strong on these long range fights on these open maps. And with skill based matchmaking, why, why do developers even put more than 3 guns in a game if everybody is using the same 3 guns? I always enjoyed playing weapons like the FAL or some snipers or I don't know, just weapons who are fun to play and not 
that strong probably compared if you not learned properly how to use them. But now it's just like five, six weapons in every round and that's it. You can't see any more other weapons and I can't believe that everybody who is playing Modern Warfare lately used just these weapons. That's just not, not possible. So as a conclusion, what does skill based matchmaking bring to us? Yeah, it helps new players to get into the game and this is completely fine. But as soon as they are getting better, we should have the same player pool for everyone. And it is a great thing for competitive play and for this it works really well. And since it has a rank attached to it, it is completely fine. And on the negative side, we have sweaty lobbies, no variety, people stop playing with friends and that's not just me inventing this. There are really people on Reddit, they are writing, no, I just stop playing with friends because I get destroyed and I can, I can totally understand them. And at the end, worse connection and no reward for improving. So in my opinion, skill-based matchmaking is destroying games. Because I will not continue playing games if I can't play them with my friends or if I always need to try hard. I play games to have fun and skill-based matchmaking is destroyed this fun and this variety. I mean, every one of us has sometimes just the time when he wants to play a little bit but not that sweaty, just coming home from work, from school, playing a little bit on your console, on your PC, just for fun, not completely sweating all the time. And here's the most important part of this. Please Activision, please Epic Games and all the other studios out there do not add skill-based matchmaking in future games and may remove it or at least be less strict with the matchmaking in your current games. And if you who is watching this video agrees, please like it, share it and give a sign to all these studios out there that we are sick of skill-based matchmaking. And yeah, here at this point I'm a small YouTuber, but I will try this. Here's a new hashtag. Hashtag kill skill-based matchmaking. Write it down in my comments, but also everywhere else to show how sick we are of skill-based matchmaking, because I can't stand this anymore. And here at this point, I really thank you for listening to this video. It took me a lot of work, but it was really important to be said. So if you don't want to miss about future gaming and Call of Duty content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I would love to say thank you to all of you who are supporting me, write me a comment with some feedback or other opinions about skill-based matchmaking if you disagree with me. And really thank you to take the time to listen to this video because it will be pretty long I guess. But really thank you, this is for people who really care about gaming. My name is Kapunator and it was a pleasure to talk to you today. I hope to see you back soon for another video. Ciao! Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa.